Hi there, I'm Jonathan Strickland, senior writer with HowStuffWorks.com and host of the podcast Tech Stuff. And I wanted to talk to you today about augmented reality and its role in the future. But before we can talk about the future, we need to understand what augmented reality actually is. Well, it's adding a layer of digital information on top of the physical world around us. And we're already doing this in lots of different ways. One of the most common ways is through smartphone technology. Now, smartphones have a lot of features that make augmented reality attractive and easy to implement, relatively speaking. One of those might be a camera. So you have a camera lens that you can view the world through. Then there's also sensors like gyroscopes, accelerometers, GPS receivers, a compass. This lets the smartphone figure out where it is in relation to the world around you. It can figure out its orientation, it can figure out the direction it's pointed in, it can figure out its, its general location, and then with the camera it can also use some recognition software to determine exactly where it is. Well, once you know where you are, then you can start overlaying information on top of the real world around you. And there are a lot of different real world uses that people are using this for right now. Restaurants are a great choice. It's, it's something that people are using these devices for right now. You walk up to a restaurant, you hold up your handheld device, you look at the, the place through your your mobile device's camera, and then digital information gets overlaid on top of that. And that might be things like the restaurant's menu, it might be user reviews of that restaurant, it might be the hours of the restaurant, and this way you can make a more informed decision before you ever walk in the door. So that's a pretty cool use of it. We're also seeing it used in, in gaming. Uh, the Nintendo 3DS has an augmented reality video game system where you can take a real-world object. Uh, right now, the, the best use case is a, a card that has a specific design on it. You lay that card on a table, you point your Nintendo 3DS at it, the camera picks up the card, it recognizes the orientation of the Nintendo 3DS based upon the angle of the view of that card. And then looking through your screen of the 3DS, you'll see a virtual character pop up on the real card. So you've got an image of the real card, then you have a virtual 3D computer generated image of a character there and you can play a game through that. So that's another use of augmented reality. You are now overlaying a digital character on the real world around you. Well, what about using this technology in the future? There are a lot of different ways we might see this implemented in our daily lives. Uh, for example, there's a pretty cool and potentially scary use case where we could use augmented reality to learn more about the people around us. Now let's say you bump into somebody and you think, uh, hey, you know, I recognize you, I, I've seen you before, and uh, we need to catch up and we need to talk, uh, we need to find out uh, what we've been up to, I gotta remember whether or not I like you. This can lead to some awkward conversations. Well, this one augmented reality uh, device has this cool feature where you hold up your phone, facial recognition software detects the face of the person you're pointing the phone at, it then links back to a database trying to match that person with profiles, things like Facebook profiles, Twitter feeds, LinkedIn profiles. That means that just by holding up your phone to someone's face, you might be able to get lots of information about them, most of it being publicly available because it'd be stuff that they were uh, choosing to publish online. Now this is both interesting and scary. Interesting in that we can now learn things about people we just see across a room and you think, oh, that, I, I might want to go and introduce myself to that person. And you take a quick look at their Twitter feed and then you think, hmm, maybe not. Our views are very different. Uh, but it's also scary because now your privacy and your anonymity are up for grabs. I mean, there's no way to walk down the street if, and be completely anonymous if people can hold up a phone and then suddenly read your Twitter feed. So there's some pluses and some minuses to this technology. Now, will we see anonymity and privacy fade away entirely? I doubt it, but with augmented reality, there's definitely going to be some big battles down the road. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts, free, on iTunes.